The fibrillations we detect on our oscilloscope differ in origin between myopathic conditions and neurogenic conditions. Myopathic conditions are easiest to understand. The muscle fibre membranes become inflamed, swollen, damaged, necrosed, sometimes split, and so small spontaneous depolarizations of leaky membranes occur, and we detect this on our needle electrodes. Sometimes as well, the needle electrode can also cause irritation of the muscle membrane itself and also generate some of these spontaneous discharges. A normal healthy muscle fibre requires good axonal input to it from its innervating nerve. The motor end plate has the greatest concentration of acetylcholine receptors. In the disease state, when there is less axon going to the muscle fibre, the muscle fibre will upregulate acetylcholine receptors, not just at the motor end plate, but along the entire surface of the muscle. This means that there is a greater probability of any extracellular acetylcholine triggering small depolarizations and excitatory potentials across the muscle fibre, and we are detecting those as fibrillations. So these little tapping, popping sounds, these are all fibrillations. We can also detect fasciculations using the EMG. These are depolarizations of muscle fibres caused by activation of a part or a whole of a motor unit. We differentiate these from voluntary activities by the activation rates, which will be less than 5 Hz.